Storm Tracker 8 tonight, two people rescued after their cars got stuck in this high water in Amelia County. Photos from state police showing just how high that water got this morning. That flooding caused by severe storms across central Virginia, which is also bringing destructive winds and heavy rain. We'll get to more on those storms with John Bernier in a moment. But first, 8 News reporter Nicole Dantzler is live in Chesterfield to tell us more about crews desperately racing to save those people. Nicole. Well, Eric Deanna, one of the hardest hit areas was in Amelia along Lador Road. The chief deputy on scene this morning saying this is one of the most dangerous types of calls that they respond to. Powerful storms and winds ripped through central Virginia last night. The heavy downpours tore down trees and left the ground and had people soaked. As the storms battered Amelia County, it caused high standing water to build up near Lador Road. This morning, two people got stuck in the swift water currents. Time certainly was of the urgency. Around 7 a.m., water rescue and dive teams from Powhatan and Chesterfield worked to rescue the people stranded in their cars. Powhatan's Fire and Rescue Deputy Chief Taylor Goodman was on scene. Members were tethered off. There were rope systems involved, things like that. One of the Chesterfield members was actually on top of the car with the water running over top of it and had to reach in there. Goodman says crews were on scene for about an hour before the most critical patient who was in a partially submerged car was flown to the hospital. The other person refused treatment. Powhatan says the severe storms tripled their daily call volume within 24 hours. Their 31st call in that time period was this water rescue in Amelia. The, the danger is so high. Yet the type of call that we had this morning, the frequency is so low. With water still high on Lador Road, Amelia residents are voicing their concerns about the constant flooding when it rains there. They say the bridge wasn't closed and signs weren't put out in a timely manner. The Virginia Department of Transportation tells us that if they're alerted to an inundated structure, crews will assess it and then close it if it's deemed unsafe. VDOT says they received a call about the road around 5.30 a.m. and it was shut down about 30 minutes later. VDOT says that bridge was inspected in August and it was said to be in fair condition. There are no maintenance plans for that bridge right now, but once the water recedes, it will get another inspection. Live in Chesterfield tonight, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.